y'all how are y'all doing i don't know why i'm singing that anyway so how are y'all doing today happy thursday to you and i'm actually gonna put this video out today so i was driving i had just had a conversation with my husband and it was in reference to he saw a piece of paper where i had planned um everything that i was going to do for this whole 25 days of christmas is what it started off being um and then because of reasons that i will explain in a minute i dropped it down to okay i'll just do 12 days of christmas because that's less um as you know i tried to do it last year and i only did one day well last year was different because last year we weren't dealing that we knew of we weren't dealing with um c19 so this year 2020 has been a rough year on a lot of people millions and millions of people um I guess until it touches home for you yourself, um, you might not understand what I'm saying. So I, you know, was asked by a few people, am I doing it? Should I do, <coughs> excuse me, am I going to do the 25 days of Christmas? So the reason, well, I was like, you know, hesitant about doing it is because I still have somewhat of a fear of going into stores um, a lot. And you'll probably say, well, I can't tell because of all your haul videos. Um, those were before. I myself tested positive. Um, so that's that fear. Um, and I noticed in my other video when I was with my daughter, I think that was day one video. I didn't realize that she kind of has a fear of it as well because I was like, you ready to go in and whatever, whatever. She was like, no, that caught me off guard. So that really, I think, you know, in editing that video, it forced me to have to watch that and address my fears and address her fears. Um, so in the videos that you have seen so far, I think I've gotten up to day three that you've seen today will be day three um and then i have one tomorrow is day four well i don't have a day five yet and that's where the debate comes in because i did day one through three in one day to try to limit myself from going in the store every single day i cannot do it i can't do it I can't pretend that I can do it. I can try to pretend that I can do it, which is what I was doing. Um, I love the idea of Vlogmas. I like it because it takes your mind off of everything that's going on in 2020. It really does. But I'm the type of person when I plan to do something, I will write it down because I feel overwhelmed with oh my god 25 days oh my god 12 days you know so i had written down some days and things places that i wanted to go but i was gonna do those things um within one day like i would do three days in one day that way i'm not every day in the store in the store so what had happened was <laughs> my husband just told me he was like um I want to talk to you about, you know, the thing that you're doing on YouTube. And I was like, oh, okay, the, the Christmas thing. He was like, yeah. He was like, I saw your paper last night. And I said, I don't 
think you should be going out there in the stores every day. So I had to explain to him what I just explained to you, that I'm not in the store every day. Um, because y'all, this thing is real. If you don't believe it, that's fine. You can be that person who does not believe it. Um, you can be that person who goes into a restaurant and sit down, take your mask off and eat in a restaurant. I'm not that person. I wasn't that person even before I got C-19. And now that I have had C-19 and I still have, they call it long haulers. I'm a long hauler, I guess, because I still have, as you heard me clearing my throat and stuff like that, I still have a cough every now and then although i am negative right now um and just know you can take as many tests as you want to take your test is only a snapshot in time from that moment that you took it because you could go in take your test walk out and come into contact with someone who has it so I'm not trying to make this a scary video. I'm not trying to make this a, I'm just trying to inform you all of what I'm dealing with. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And trying to keep it as real as I can possibly keep it. Um, I don't want to do anything fake. And so, but I, I wanted to do this because I was asked, can you do it? Now, I can't promise that I will complete the full 12 days, but what I had already planned out, some of my days, I wasn't even going into a store because I had days where it's going to be like baking. So that's how I was going to, you know, try to manipulate doing the Vlogmas in my own way. Because you can't do vlogmas like you could last year, but I, you know, some people are, but you, you shouldn't, you should be flipping it up because that would mean you're exposing yourself or allowing yourself to be exposed to potentially bring home something that could, um, devastate your family. Um, it was no thrill having C-19. Let me just say that. And I, I said I was going to do a video, more in detailed video about it. I'm sorry, my words are getting jumbled because everything is just like going process, process. Like I said, this was spur of the moment. I pulled over and let me do this video. So um, I like keep <laughs> my Lysol with me. I spray my car, I wipe my car down, which I had been doing the wipe down part even before I had gotten C-19. So now I just do it a little more. Um, it is no fun not being able to um, catch your breath or have a decent conversation where you don't have to... Um, try to get your ear in i didn't have a serious serious case but it was mild it was mild but it was enough where it did affect my breathing um and i was afraid that i was gonna have to go to the hospital i um i didn't tell you know my husband or anything oh i need to go but in my mind i was upstairs quarantining in my room because he slept on the couch um, I had moments where I felt like, should I tell him I need to go to the emergency room? You know, and you, that's the last place you want to go. But if you need to go, you need to go. So I would just say, if you're doing Vlogmas and I will watch it, if you tag me, I will watch it. And if you're doing it, kudos, um... I'm glad you're doing it, if that's what you feel you need to do. So, just be careful. Be safe. Um, as safe as you think you can be. Because now that I have had it, 
when I'm in the stores, I used to just go into the store with um, use my other mask. I just brought it. It's in here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this one, these are washable masks. These are washable masks. And it has that layer right there, the extra layer. But I still feel like these don't protect you the way a N95 mask would protect you because of the nose part here. Um, this one I will be washing today along with a couple of other ones that I have. My niece made this. She, she makes masks and all kind of stuff. So if y'all want a mask, let me know. And I'll let her know. Um, but this one is my new one for today. Won't mess up your hair if that's what you're worried about. But I used to go into the store. And I'm showing you this because I would go into the store with these right here. Just this. And this probably was good. But with the rising numbers here in South Carolina... I'm in Columbia, South Carolina, if you don't know. Okay. It's not, you know, masks are masks, and they yes, they can protect you, but masks will not prevent you from getting COVID. There is not one time I've ever gone into any store without a mask. So, therefore, I have gotten COVID. Oh, I said the word. Gosh, Anyway, I have gotten C-19 um, wearing a mask. You Did you know that there are some cases where it can enter in through the eyes? That's why a lot of people wear the protective glasses and stuff. Um, I wear this now. It looks like a duck mask. I wear this, and it has... to see it the, the layers that's what you need to, to filter the, anything out so i wear that now when i go into the store under this mask so i have two masks on but this one is an n95 mask these masks right here i got boxes of these masks um from a place called southern salvage here back in 2019 like the spring of 2019 i just happened to walk into the store and they had this whole center aisle with these masks for like three dollars and 99 cent and you got at least 20 30 masks in a box if i'm not mistaken and so I immediately called my husband. I got as many as I could get at that time. He called his mom. She came out and she got her some. So we had masks, not knowing what we needed the mask for, because we always felt like anything could happen. So we saw it. They were like $3.99. What are you, three? Yeah, $3.99. And we got those masks. And I'm down to my last box. And I wish that I could have gotten more that day. But, um... I'm going to get some more N95 masks. That way, if I still want to wear these right here, I can wear them. Um, I still, when I come home at night, I will use my daughter's nebulizer. And I'll mix one part peroxide, one part water, and sit there with that mask on my face, like in that video that I showed you, um, for two minutes every night and that's just to clear out the passages i blow my nose all that stuff you should always blow your nose in the morning night whatever and so um yeah y'all that is the reason why you might not be seeing um a full 12 days and if you do it's going to be a modified 12 days of christmas um because of what's going on with the pandemic um our numbers here in south carolina every day they're like 1,700, 1,700 new cases, 1,700 new cases, 25 new deaths. I mean, it's just 
crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure things are looking low on the shelves. I don't know. I'm not, I don't plan to go into the store today as far as showing you that. Um, because I will be going grocery shopping on Sunday. So I have to plan my grocery days um, and get try to get all my hauls done in one day. You'll see them in different days, but in one day, that way I'm not in the store every day. I can't do what I used to do. And I think that's what a lot of people having a hard time with is thinking that they can do what they used to do. And yes, you can, because you're grown. That's your right. No one should tell you that you should not be eating in a restaurant. No one should, you know, and no one should be judging you. I don't judge people who do it. I just go, it's not going to be me. It can't be me. Um, and as much as I preach these things to people, and then I end up being the one to get it. So I look at that as... God saying, I spared you out of all these hundreds of thousands of people that have died. I'm sparing you to get on your platform and tell people your experience. And I'm getting teary-eyed. Y'all, this thing ain't nothing to play with. It's not. And, you know, I just wanted to take the reason I wanted to do it is because it would take my mind off of everything that's going on. <clears throat> but it would give me just a break to figure out my next move as far as how I'm going to do my gardening. Because I haven't, start, I haven't stopped gardening, even though I don't have nothing in my beds okay but some okra that's it some okra and some um what is it? jalapeno peppers they trying to put out again y'all but that's all i have in my beds and that's okay with me um because i haven't been able to take care of nothing no way you know because i was down i, I stayed in quarantine 10 extra days like they only require you to stay in quarantine for 10 days if you have no symptoms like um that make you feel bad because you could still have symptoms like the coughing which i still had but she said as long as my epidemiology ology nurse she said as long as the cough that you have is not making you feel bad then you're good past your 10 days to be out but my cough i was still feeling bad so I stayed in for 20 days of quarantine, y'all. When I felt like I had the symptoms, I basically put myself in quarantine. And then I went and got tested when I realized, okay, this is not just a cold. I went and got tested because that's, you know, when I started getting a fever with it, I said, oh, no, I don't really get a fever when I have a cold. So let me go get myself tested because me having lupus, my, my low grade temp is always at 99. So when it went over 99, I said, this is not lupus bothering me either. So that was another clue. You have to be in tune with yourself and know how you are when you are usually normally sick as opposed to C-19 sick. Because there are a lot of the same symptoms, but you know, you should be able to know your body. Well, you've been dealing with this for years. You just started dealing with the other thing. So um, that was a big clue for me you know, and being tested. The only problem was so many people were being tested at the same time that I was that I did not get my test back for uh, seven days, a whole week. Imagine someone who didn't have the mindset that I had to say, I'm going to just stay in quarantine and say, well, I ain't got my results back. I'm just going to go out. Now you're infecting all these different people. And this is why it spreads so rapidly, y'all. 
So I put myself in quarantine. I stayed there. When By the time they called to tell me I was positive, it was the last day of my supposed quarantine when they called me because I quarantined myself even before I went in there to them. So, um, and then I stayed in an extra 10 days and that was for my own, I, I would not feel good coming out of quarantine. Oh, whew, let me get out of here. Cause y'all, it ain't easy to be in quarantine. The first few days it's like, okay, you know, time to yourself, whatever, you know, but you're dealing with the whole breathing situation and the coughing was horrible. It is horrible. And sometimes I cough now and, and my husband, I don't know if he's joking or not. He go, you okay? <laughs> you know, so people, yeah, will look at you a little different, you know, do she still have it or whatever, but it is what it is. I don't. Um, and I want to remain that way. So I have to limit my store situations. And like um, my friend Shell Eats, um said in my comments she was like girl i know you're not back out at these stores when she was watching my haul which the haul that i think she watched was the one my husband actually i gave him a list and he went out and got what i needed um he doesn't go in stores so i don't worry about him like that but he is a trucker so i do worry about him like that so um but he had gotten my my groceries for me so i have not been shopping shopping um on a haul in weeks okay um i guess you say a month i haven't done it in a month um this weekend will be a month so that's i'm fearful of going but i'm going to go and do my haul i just i feel like i get what i need to get and I, the Instacart thing that Shell was talking about, I'm like, uh, it's nothing like seeing it yourself and going, okay, that meat don't look right. I ain't gonna get that. So if I say if I want a certain meat and they just go on and picking the meat, everybody don't pick food like you pick food. So I have to weigh the pros and the cons with that because I have to stock my pantry. Um, and yeah, I don't stock my pantry with a lot of healthy, healthy stuff. I stock it with necessities that my children are going to eat um, because if these numbers continue to rise, they're going to fall back into having the hours be um, closing earlier and limiting more people from going in because they, they bump the numbers up, I noticed, because the stores are a lot more crowded. Um, but they're going to cut that back if things continue um, to do what they're doing. Yes, they have a vaccine coming. Um, how many of y'all are going to rush out to get that vaccine? Be honest. Um, I'm not rushing out, even though I would qualify having an underlying condition as being the second group to get theirs. I don't... I want to wait and see how it does people than to just rush out and throw a vaccine. And that could just be our history as black people um, and the government not being so kind um, to us in experimentations. You know what I'm talking about. So, um, but I do want to get the vaccine. I'm just not going to be in that first or second group that's getting it. I refuse. Um, this video is much longer than I thought it was going to be because I just like got in into it. But um, I just want y'all to know that um, my channel might seem like it's everywhere. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But I'm doing what I normally do in life. Do you stick to one thing that you do in life? So why should my channel be the same? Um, I started off doing mukbangs. You may see an occasional mukbang on here. Um, if you don't like it, I don't, I'm not going to tell you to turn away from it. I'm going to tell you to turn the volume down so you don't hear the smacking. 
so that I can get my watch time hours because I'm still trying to grow my channel and I'm still trying to, I don't have a job. So I'm trying to make sure that this job of YouTube, because it is a job, it takes hours of your time to record content, to edit content and to put it out there and then to make sure that you stay in touch with your followers who are watching you, that you are taking advice. Not saying you're gonna do everything they tell you to do because it's your channel. If it's something that they want to do, then they can do that on their channel. But um, yeah, y'all, I love gardening. This is my first year. Um, I wish I had started sooner. I don't know everything about gardening. I can't even say I know 50% of what I need to know about gardening, but I'm not going to stop until I, you know, not even until I'm not going to stop. So I will be gardening. Um, I've been writing, like I said, I always write stuff out how I want to do it. And then I have to get it done. So I do have to go um, two lows and get some things, but I'm not in no rush to do it. Um, I'm going to do a grow, I'm going to have a grow table over this winter in my kitchen. And I'm going, I don't have any grow lights because those things are expensive, but I do have the lights that I started out doing YouTube with. And I'm thinking about using my ring light as a, as a grow light because it goes up pretty high and just fold it over the table and grow my stuff um so give me some ideas if you're down down in the comments you know things that i can grow during the winter indoors to prepare for my spring garden because i want to be ahead of the game because this year i didn't start till june and you know i want to do better than i did so and i intend to I'm, i want to do meat rabbits we have some in on our homestead in the mountains but his brother my brother-in-law is taking care of the animals there so but i want to do it i want to learn how to do it those are things that i want to learn how to do i still haven't canned any meat i want to do that as well i've canned jellies and jams and i have a water canner but i gotta get that pressure canner so that i can do the meats and like his mom is doing and stuff so um we can put our things together if we need to and we'll be good so y'all take care i'm gonna end this video because i did not realize i was gonna be on here yapping for 28 minutes i hope that you watched to the end if you did let me know in the comments and i will give you a shout out in my next well whatever video comes after no because i already got some plan but i will be giving you a shout out if you let me know that you stay until the end and share this video out and help me grow my channel it is not easy doing youtube um i would just greatly appreciate it um my family would greatly appreciate it because it would help my numbers grow and hopefully help my watch time grow. And when the watch time grows and the revenue can start being better than it is, there is some revenue, but I, you know, not the revenue that I can actually sustain myself off of. Thank God for my husband. He is such, he, he's really been doing it. But, um, yeah y'all take care stay blessed remember to love yourself put god first and when you love yourself you can go out and love others with distance until next time i will talk to y'all on the other side of tomorrow i don't want to leave y'all but i gotta go just gotta go gotta go pay my take well i'm not gonna take my mom she don't need to go nowhere she just got the hospital y'all so i'm about to go and get her bills paid and then i'm coming back home okay 
All right. Love y'all. Bye.